thinking of showing you this picture of normal heart histologically, but you don't need to know that anymore, do you? You're experts on heart. Let's go directly to the abnormal heart. You already have a very, very good idea for what normal is. I think you could recognize almost instantly two things. Number one, this is cardiac muscle or myocardium or heart. And number two, even though areas like this might look sort of normal, that the uh, subpericardial fat, including uh, the soft tissue around the artery and the edge of the myocardium, and even the myocardium itself is involved with an inflammatory process. There are infiltrates of chiefly chronic inflammatory cells here and macrophages within the fat, within the edge of the myocardium. And here uh, we can see an area in which it has been going on because it also looks like there is some uh, fibrous tissue as well. In addition, some of these inflammatory cells look fairly big, don't they? Like they might be kind of like histiocytes or macrophages or perhaps multinucleated uh, histiocytes. Perhaps, having seen that, we are suspicious that perhaps we may see some uh, granulomas within this heart as well. And let's see if we can verify that. I don't think I would have to uh, convince you too hard that not only are these multinucleated histiocytes in the vicinity of the inflamed and perhaps necrotic cardiac muscle fibers, but they are uh, trying to form granulomas. Here's an area. Here's an area. Here's another inflamed area of myocardium. Here's an area of histiocytes, some of which are uh, multinucleated, attacking and destroying uh, what would like to be uh, normal cardiac muscle fibers, but it isn't. What do we have here? What we have here is the classic appearance of a disease, an acute granulomatous disease of heart, as well as pericardium, as well as endocardium. It's a transmural cardial pathologic process called rheumatic fever. And the uh, structures in rheumatic fever that look like granulomas, like this area does, with multinucleated histiocytes, lymphocytes, and uh, perhaps uh, parts of degenerated or attacked skeletal muscle is called an Ashoff body named after Carl Albert Ludwig Ashoff. Rheumatic fever is also an uh, immune, autoimmune disease in which the body attacks its own uh, tissue, which is, which is supposed to recognize as uh, normal, all of a sudden thinks it's abnormal and starts to attack it. And not only is uh, rheumatic disease frequently found uh, as a myocarditis and a pericarditis, like we see here, art and the subepicardial fat, but as you know, in the old days, and perhaps even now, it is uh, the single biggest cause for an endocarditis as well. And uh, rheumatic fever is one of the biggest uh, destructors of heart valves. Here are some uh, papillary muscles. Uh, here are the little chordae tendinae that attach from the papillary muscles to the leaflets of the valve. And we can see the valve itself is very inflamed, granular, hemorrhagic. This is classical uh, rheumatic fever involving the endocardium, just as though we saw microscopically it was involving the myocardium out here, as well as the pericardium. Thank you very much.